Okay, this is gonna be a weapon spotlight again on one of my guns. And here's the box for it. And it is the Matrix Pulse Rifle, or what I call APR Alien Pulse Rifle. In the box, what you get is you get an 8.4 stick battery, the instructions, cleaning rod, battery for the uh, um, counter, a wall wart charger, and a little mag that fits in there. Now, I've given away the 8.4 volt battery, and this is a different battery, but, and also, what you get in the box is the Alien Pulse Rifle. What it comes with, besides the, the stick battery, which I gave away, this is a 210 round high cap, has a little winding wheel on the bottom. And uh, it loads, it, this is all based on uh, Thompson inside here. Uh, and I own two Thompsons, which I'll, I'll do a, a, a picture of the two that I own. As you can see in the pictures, that one is a 1928 version, and I have a, an M M1A1 uh, with real wood that I put on it. I originally came with the foxwood, uh, you know, plastic stuff. I put real wood on it, and a King Arms kit. Anyway, this is a Thompson, and you take this little compartment off here, and the mag fits in there. And the big thing that I'm finding that, you know, it's a lot of fun to use, but getting that lined up so it goes in is a bit of a pain. And there is a lot of room once you put that on there, uh, or I'm sorry, there isn't a lot of room once you put that on there, once you put this cap back on there. That mag is like right there to the top, the battery's in the top. And because I have a lot of other Thompsons, I have uh, the high caps that come with my other Thompsons. Um, which fit in here as well. The only thing is they stick way down from the gun. Okay, and of course my King Arms mid caps, which are like 110 rounds, and they fit in there as well. All of these feed. Um, to use it as a skirmishable weapon though out in the field, uh, Using the little high cap is fine, 200 rounds. This is like 300 some rounds, or close to four, close to 400 rounds in this. So I would actually probably use this because changing out for a 110 round mid cap or these little mags trying to get them fed in there, a bit of a pain. 400 rounds in this, leave it in there. I would actually lose the battery because the battery is for the counter on the side that lights up. You know, if you could see that red. Uh, when you put the mag in, and I'll use the little cap to show you. When you put the mag in, it resets to 95. This is 110 rounds, so this counter goes to zero and there's still rounds in the gun. Same thing with this 200 round uh, high cap. Uh, it'll go about It'll probably go about 95 rounds and die, and then you got to wind it up again. So it's, it might be might be more accurate. 90% of the time, I with the switch right here, I just turn that off and don't ever run it. All right, let me get the mag out. Okay. So basic functions same as the. Thompson, if you've ever used the Thompson before, it has the, see there's a loose BB in there already, there it went out, okay, it has a charging handle which does nothing, the hop up lever, uh, control is a rotary dial right here, your controls are on this side, you have the semi full auto switch here, and you have the safe and fire positions here, okay. Right now, I have a small 11.1 LiPo in there, so it, 
Here, I got it on. They're safe. Oh, matter of fact, I have the battery out of here already, so I didn't realize that. Okay, that was embarrassing. I'm in the middle of uh, doing a video, and the battery's dead in the gun. I can't even show it firing. Um, let me hook it up. I have an 11 one here uh, stick. I will hook up to this so you can hear it firing. Okay, that's semi. There's full. Sounds very tinty. Um, it's not bad. It's it's shooting pretty decent. Okay, Alien Pulse Rifle shoots about, and I tested it. It shoots between 350 to 353 with .25s and 14.2 rounds per second. That's with an 11.1 light bulb. Now, simplistic front end on this is that you pick this up. This push, yeah, right, picks up and slides to the side, and then a battery will go down inside here. Here's your, here's your wiring down inside here. If I can get the damn thing out, there you go. Now this is a, a fake charging handle, where we come back here and you charge. The pump shows a fake shell in here, goes back and forth. Um, I found that having it down here, the pin that holds this in goes farther back and the battery goes in better. Now this, I bought specifically for the gun. It is a 9.9 .9 LiFePo battery. Charges just like a regular LiPo battery. You get pretty decent uh, rate of fire with this. Not as much as 11.1, .1, but pretty decent. And it fits down into the groove, which is basically the whole length of this tube here. This one fits in there with this all the, with this round stick type in here. You can have this front end up all the way or all the way down, and the battery will still fit in there. With this stick type that I have, it's kind of thicker. You have to have this tube all the way down so that this one will go in there. Uh, I'll show you. Helps you get the wires out of the way, and you have to have this sideways. This will go in there, as you can see, it goes in there flush, tuck the wires onto the side, and it's good. But then you can't pull this up because the bat it hits the battery, so that works good for that particular type of battery there. Then you just turn this, and it clips back over the top of it. And it works like a champ. Uh, decent ranges. I was uh, shooting this. I was getting ranges of about 125 feet. Shooting 350 with two fives. It's pretty decent. Really slow loading because you can't see where you're putting the mags in there. That's where a, a, like a 400 round high cap like this one actually works a little bit better. It's a good gun. Um, has a little knob on the back right here so the stock extends. Otherwise, you would push it in and it goes all the way in and you push the button again and it comes out that far locks in place somewhat yeah it locks in place in a couple of different positions you can push it forward a little bit it locks there it locks there and it's all the way in but all the way out it's got a pretty good uh, rest on your shoulder it's a Thompson with attitude that's all it is it's a really low powered Thompson you could buy the kit put it on there they used to sell the extra bottoms for this because I did lose this once and found it on the field which I lucked out uh, but it's a gimmick makes it look nice I am going to use it in uh, one of our next trainings but doing mag changes in the field with this are not fast I can do a regular Thompson because you can see the rail and get it put in there faster it's a lot of fun it's just a different type of weapon uh, I know they're selling these for about 280 on the site now I originally got this it was on sale with a coupon code, it was like $180. It's the only reason I bought it. And just because I want to get something different. Uh, it does take a regular stick battery, like light pole battery like this, or a small stick 11 one And I do have even some smaller 11 ones that I, I can put in here that fit in here a little bit better. Uh, but you got to watch this post that's like right here. That, that's on top of this. It it gets in the way and you can't really put bigger batteries in there so 
Uh, other than that, the gun shoots pretty good. Uh, I had no problems with it. It's a lot of fun. It's just another one in my arsenal, just a special one. Not really something I'm going to use on a regular basis, but a lot of fun just to shoot anyway. Uh, I'm going to throw some pictures up after this, and hope you enjoyed the video. Very clumsy video today. I'm really not feeling that well. Just got, don't want to get into it, but just had some surgery done, so I'm really not feeling that good. So I'm a little flubbed up with stuff when I was doing things. So enjoy the video. Uh, have a good day, and if you're going out playing airsoft today, play safe, have fun, have a good day. What the fuck was that?